back to my channel, Sunshines. Today I did this look right here. I was actually inspired today by Miss Frida Kahlo, the one and only. And I wanted to create a look that was similar to her style, but not necessarily trying to look like her and kind of just like make it my own and I don't really do fun stuff like this all the time and I know that sounds really boring of me to say but it's only because I truly feel most beautiful and uh, appealing to myself when I'm in my neutral looks um, just simple with my makeup at least and that's my personal taste that's what I like but I also admire colorful and bright and artistic looks just like Frida so I just kind of took certain things from her style like the red nails which are very classic and very much like me as well tons of rings on my hands um, not too crazy with the jewelry and I got some floral on my head and I did kind of like a braid crown with some golden flowers instead of colorful flowers. Oh, and I have this H&M romper jumper type of thing off the hook. This look was inspired by Frida, but I went to my husband and I was like, how do you like it? And he's like, you look Swedish. <laughs> Clearly, I was aiming for Frida though. Seriously, this is freaking round two. <sighs> my camera, memory card said it didn't have any room which i found very strange put it in the in the computer and then uh, i did something and it deleted all the clips that is my life but when i first started thank goodness i didn't get too far i was doing a get ready with me with you guys i was talking through it but now i kind of don't want to do that because this is my second time so i'm gonna take frida's uh whole look which is um pretty floral and artsy and implement it into my own and don't judge my hair we're gonna get ready right now and I'm gonna do my makeup and then go back to my hair and then finish off my makeup because that is the plan I have based on what I'm gonna do um, and I'm not fully sure of what I'm gonna do with my hair so as I do my makeup I will figure it out because I'm wearing this thing right here on my head a really good primer and I even sometimes wear it when I'm not wearing makeup because it makes my skin look all nice and smooth it looks like the poop emoji and now I'm just going to apply some foundation this is the one I love I've been loving this one for a long time even though they come out with new ones this is the one I like and I'm gonna highlight a little bit on the bridge of my nose and on my brow bone I think this is a little bit too light but I just decided to do it because I'm winging it here but it all worked out in the end so don't get scared I already did my brows previously and I'm not gonna do it again <laughs> So I'm gonna move on to uh, just not really contouring but just adding a little bit of a darker shade on the sides of my face and on my cheekbones. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Do you I love this eyeshadow, it's such a wearable color. Everyone knows I love golden bronzy colors like this one. And I actually got this one at the Whole Foods makeup counter, by the way. This is an Alima Pure pigmented eyeshadow. I just decided to pile that one on right on top, just for a little shine. And I'm telling you, better ingredients, better quality than the other MAC stuff everyone else is, is using. <laughs> Now I'm gonna use a little bit of this dark brown color in my Desert Sand palette from Shea Moisture and I'm just gonna apply it on the edge only. And don't worry, it's gonna look a little crazy at first and so unblended, but we're gonna blend it out later. My eyeshadow always looks weird and like someone punched me in the eye at first and then it looks better later. And now here we go with the blending. Now it's gonna look better. This is my Sable Brown palette from Honest Beauty and it's kind of like just a bronzy taupe. Brown, kind of, you get the point. Here I'm just cleaning the edges with a wet wipe and I'm gonna blend out that top part so it's not so white and chalky. I don't remember what I used, it's one of the neutral colors from one of the palettes, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. 
Now for that inner corner glow, I'm taking this color from my Plain Jane Beauty Custom Palette. You guys always ask me about this palette. I don't know the colors, there's no name on it. I just picked out colors and I'm applying it and that's it. I'll link it down below. And now while my lash glue dries, let's get this Frida hair going on. I'm not done with the face, but we're gonna do the hair right now. I'm using this Shea Moisture Conditioning Gel. I love this gel, especially for updos. Um, I used it for wash and goes as well, but I'm using it for an updo today. Well, not an updo, hairstyle. And it's just a simple two side pigtails and I'm gonna braid it because we're gonna make it into a crown braid. But you will see that I will be struggling with this a little bit because I'm just trying to figure out how to position this gold floral crown thing. Do I want it on the bottom? Do I want it on the top? As you see this clip, you will see that I'm just trying to figure it out. But all you need to know is that you just take some bobby pins and you pin down the braid to your liking around your head on the top, okay? concealer I'm using my translucent powder by plain Jane Beauty I'm gonna look crazy again but don't worry because blending saves lives yeah I know that was corny but I just made it up always rocked classic red lips so I'm gonna go with the only two red lip liners I own and I'm just gonna blend them two together they're kind of similar but different consistency so just mixing and now for my favorite part I'm using one of my favorite Alima Pure pigments to highlight my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose, and you shall see. Boom. And sadly, this color is discontinued because it was special edition, but I'll try to link the closest one below. And as always, I'll link everything else I used as well. See you soon. Bye.